All right, let's begin lying down. So come on down to the ground. Take your time getting there. Trust that you chose the right practice, the right video. And let's land here in the moment in a little constructive rest pose. So you're going to bring your feet wide, knees come together like so, and then you're going to rest your head, your neck, your shoulders down, elbows bent, hands resting on your belly. We're not going to be here long, but we're just going to take a couple moments to land. What makes this different than just a lower body workout is the way we focus on our breath and the way we allow our breath to fuel the room in and the consideration or the awareness that we bring to the practice, the way we relate to our body. And truly it's about honesty, your willingness to look and see and notice how am I feeling today? Where am I at these days in my body? And then sometimes when we do that, some judgment can come up. So the last bit is just when I bring some love to it. Some grace if you need it. Start to gently deepen your breath, whatever that means to you. So it can be really, really slow and controlled breathing, or it can just be taking the first deep breath that you have all day. Maybe it's in through the nose, out through the nose, or maybe it's in through the nose and a couple of exhales out through the Next breath cycle, take the biggest breath you've taken all day. And use your exhale to kind of wake up the body. So you're going to bat the eyelashes open. You're going to walk the feet together. So these are still going to walk the feet together. And then you're just going to open and close the hands, rotate the wrists one way and then the other. And then we're going to send just the right foot all the way up towards the sky. We're going to rotate that ankle one way and then the other. And point your right toes. It's okay if this right knee doesn't uh, straighten. You can keep it as bent as, as you need. Point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. Let's stay flexed. You're going to reach to interlace the fingertips behind the thigh or maybe behind the calf. Breathing deep for a hamstring stretch. This is where using a strap or a tie or a dish towel can also become really handy. Just getting a nice hamstring stretch, letting your blood flow opposite direction, letting that hip socket, excuse me, that femur drop down into the hip socket. Breathe. Check it out. Bring your hands to your belly, point your toes, and slowly, 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 slowly lower your right foot all the way down to extended. And so you can kind of just feel what's going on in that right hip. Nice. And then draw that right knee up, and we'll send the left foot up towards the sky. Take a second to rotate the ankle one way. Point and flex. Support the low back with your abs. Point and flex. And when you're ready, find that hamstring stretch, one that works for you on this side. Continue to gently deepen your breath. can slide to the low belly. We're going to point the toes and slow and steady lower it down. Maha 
like, you can rock a little side to side if that feels good. Maybe draw the knees in a circle one way and then the other. Continue to deepen your breath as you give yourself a little low back massage here. And we'll slide the hands to the backs of the thighs. You're going to rock and roll up and down the length of your spine just a couple times. And after a few times, we'll rock all the way up to a cross-legged seat. Gentle twist to the left, lift your chest. Breathe in, exhale, gentle twist to the right, lift your chest. Breathe in, exhale, come back to center. We're going to come forward now onto all fours. And you're going to actually widen your knees as wide as your mat. And then send your hips back and your fingertips forward for extended child's pose, opening up through the hips. Think about, for, for today especially, think about really lengthening your tailbone down towards the soles of your feet to find that length in the low back. So always playing with different little nuances and different shapes to explore different sensations. And carve a line with your nose, look forward. We're going to come all the way up, keep the knees wide. You're going to move the heart forward and then take it around and down through a little version of that extended child's pose. So we're stirring now, leading with the heart, stretching through the hips, and then reverse it. Take the circle in the opposite direction. into those hip flexors as you come forward, getting into the outer hips as you come back. Lovely. Then we're going to bring the knees all the way to center, tabletop position. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you're going to just extend the left leg out, sorry, left leg out, and then the right leg out to a plank. We're not here long. Just getting our core turned on, getting, getting ready. Or our lunge work. Breathe deep. Extend the crown of the head forward. You're here for three. You're here for two. And on the one, send it up high. Downward facing dog. I have a great view of another type of downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in here. Pedal it out. Stretch through the backs of the legs. Stretch through the feet, the ankles, the Achilles, the calves, the hamstrings. Think about lifting up from your hip creases. And sending the majority of your weight into the lower half of the body. Press away from your yoga mat. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, stay here, but hug the belly in to lengthen the low back. Just a little bit. It's hard work, I know. All right, slow and steady. We're going to cross one foot in front of the other to walk all the way up to the top of the mat. So you're getting a little IT band stretch as you journey to the top. Feet hip width apart. Allow the weight of your head to hang in the forward fold. Breathe in. And breathe out. Bend your knees generously and slowly begin to relax to stand. Head over heart, heart over pelvis. Just take a second. So loop the shoulders a little forward, up and back, a couple of sh shoulder circles. And then without looking down, we're going to bring the palms together and walk the feet together, really together, so they're arch to arch. Feel this zipping up through the legs. Feel your quads turn on, your glutes turn on. And if you're like, uh oh, what's happening next? Just Get this zip up tight through the legs first. We're not going anywhere right away. Just feeling that connection, turning on the muscles of the legs. Imagine trying to tear your yoga mat in half with your feet so much so that it's engaging the muscles all the way up through the midline. And around the hips. Good. Now lift your sternum a little bit tall into your thumbs. Inhale in. Exhale. Keep the sternum reaching towards the thumbs as you send the hips back. 